but I think I can win you over that we should, as Christians, have access to Capernaum, Nazareth, the Mount of the Beatitudes. And what happens when we don't, for example, in Bethlehem, it is harder and harder for Christians to access those holy sites. So my main contention is that the veracity of the scriptures is proven true by our ability to navigate the Holy Land. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again to a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out. I can show you exactly why Israel should exist. Okay, this is about Charlie Cook. I call him Charlie Kick because love kicking us. Let's get right into it. With the events that have happened, so I know like you've vocally supported Israel a lot in the past. Yep. And I'd just like to ask, have your views changed at all since the October 7th events? Yes and no. I mean, have they changed? I want to be very clear. What are my views? I, I, I've been to Israel twice. I love Israel. I love Israel the place. I love Israel... Um, I love Israel as it protects access to biblical archaeology. Um, I'm not an unapologetic defender of the government of Israel, and I want to make sure that's clear. But I am a defender of the nation state of Israel to exist as, as a homeland for the Jewish people. Mm. Um, but I, I, anytime Israel does something I don't like, I say something about it, and I get attacked from every side. I get called a Jewish shill by some people, and then I get attacked as anti-Semitic. For example, I was one of the leading voices that said, it was very suspicious, the intel failure that led to October 7th. I, yeah. I was one of the few people that was willing to say that, and I stand by that. Oh yeah, that's great to hear. But, but I, I, I am very pro-Israel as far as the promise of the Jewish people, 7 million individuals out of 14, having a home. I, I, I believe that is an idea that needs to be defended, a, a, mm. a Jewish state in the Middle East. I do. Mm. But why does it need to be defended by U.S. tax dollars? No, that's, that's a good question. So. Um, to the amount, it's hard to it's hard to justify the amount of money recently, the twenty six billion dollars. Yeah. But are you a Christian? Uh, yes, I am a Christian, but I do not believe in the Schofield Bible, because okay. I know the Schofield Bible is the Bible that a lot of Christian Zionists cite. So yes, I am a Christian, but I am not a Zionist. Yeah, so I'm not going to I'm not going to even win you over on Zionism. I do believe uh, that Israel has a place in God's plan, but. I'm not even going to win you over on that, but I think I can win you over that we should, as Christians, have access to Capernaum, Nazareth, the Mount of the Beatitudes, and what happens when we don't, for example, in Bethlehem, it is harder and harder for Christians to access those holy sites. So my main contention is that the veracity of the scriptures is proven true by our ability to navigate the Holy Land. But is that harder based on the Palestinian government yes. or the... Israeli government Th having this very tight controls on who visits the West Bank and the Gaza this Strip. This particular example in Bethlehem, the birthplace of our Lord and Savior, uh, is controlled by the PA. And Muslims have largely taken over the Bethlehem, and it is very unsafe for Christians to visit Bethlehem. But like Muslims regard Jesus a lot higher than That's Jews right. he do. Is the fourth, you're right. He is the fourth holiest figure in Islam. Yeah. Um, and in, in traditional uh, Talmudic Judaism, Jesus is not very... Yeah, they, they say a yeah. lot of nasty things it's, about him in the Talmud. But however, I will say, though, that in Israel, under its current government, if you and I went right now, I could show you where Jesus rose from the dead. I can show you where Jesus walked on water. I can show you where Jesus preached the Mount of the Beatitudes. I cannot right now safely bring you to the Hall of the Patriarchs in Hebron, the hall of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Sarah, Rebecca, and Leah, because mm. that is largely under Palestinian control. There's one sliver controlled by the Israeli government. So there's two sides to this, um, and insofar that we are allowed as Christians access to the holy sites, and then I'm not going to win you on the other one, which is I do believe that Israel has a place in God's final plan, but I'm not going to win you over on that. So. I mean, I just believe that, I mean, like from reading the Bible, when Jesus is referring to Israel, he is referring to people that follow him. Like when, like when you told Paul and the other apostles, you said, go preach to the Gentiles because anyone who accepts Christ has a place in God's kingdom. No, you're totally Cause, right. Because we, so. we have the old covenant where, I mean, of course, foreigners could join, but they did make it very hard, very where, where God said to Abraham that his descendants would bless mankind. And that G blessing Genesis 12, 3. Was, yes, and that blessing was the savior of mankind. Then the savior of mankind said, the old laws have been fulfilled. Now there's a new law yep. where follow me and you are saved. So we're not so, going to agree on this. There's a biblical prophecy that talks about Israel being spread across all the nations and being bound up in normative evangelical 
theology, which I believe in, is we believe that the creation of the state of Israel in the 1940s was a fulfillment of that prophecy. We're not going to agree on that, right? I mean, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Latter-day Saint. No, that's and, fine. I know. We're not going to yeah. agree on it. But, hey, I will say, though, the LDS, they have an amazing church in Jerusalem. You should visit it sometime. Yeah, the Jerusalem Center. I know. You should yeah. check it out. God bless, man. Thanks for your support. Appreciate right, it. Christ is king. I agree. Christ is king. Thank you. Okay, this was an amazing discussion. Uh, I, I didn't say this as a debate. It was not a debate. It was just a beautiful discussion. And uh, I love every moment of it. It's, it's funny how um, um, Palestinians have taken over the, the, the place that Jesus was born. And it's hard for um, Christians to enter there to go visit because a lot of Christians love um, experiencing and seeing um, the bed where Jesus died, where Jesus walked on water. Um, Bethlehem as a whole, they love experiencing and visiting there also to witness about what happened 2,000 years ago that we were not present. How, how it feels, how, what it looks like. So for a Christian not to have access to the best place of Jesus Christ, it's, it's hot. I would say that it's hot because it's kind of like, okay, um, I believe in, in Jesus Christ and I want to visit where Jesus Christ was born and I, I don't have access because Palestinian governments are, are there and uh, it's hard for some Christians to see. Maybe probably not all Christians, but some Christians it's hard for them to, to visit there. It's, it's painful. Like it's it's hot. If we are to use that same way with um the Muslim aspect, restricting them from some um holy aspects that they that they believe in, the they can't go there and see and witness it for themselves. It's 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 pains, guys. That is really, really hurtful if you think about it. Uh, I feel like Israel should have access because Israel is that they're, they're Jewish. And also Christians going to visit such places. They should have access today. They should have full access, guys. Full access, because this is this is a religion-based thing. You understand? It's it's it's. We should have full access to our faith, what to believe in. I feel like there should not be any restriction. This is it's terrible to hear that um, Christians are being restricted from entry into um, the birthplace of Jesus Christ. Because me, me myself, I want to travel to um, I want to travel there and say it for myself. I want to see the bed. Place I want to see the dead place. I want to see when the river that Jesus walked on. I want to see every every single one of it. I want to experience it and and feel it for my own self, not just stories that are being told. I just want to feel it and see it for my own self. So I love the discussion. I love how Charlie pointed um, the students straight, and it was a beautiful discussion. And there was no heated debates. There was Charlie was not trying to win her over, uh, win him over. He, he looks like a girl, but he sounds like a like a guy. Charlie was not trying to win him over, so it was just beautiful and it was respectful. Comment down below, talk about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers past that 808. That don't don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.